So a couple months ago, I found an article on the internet, and it was talking about how insects might be the protein source of the future because they're so much easier to raise in an environmentally friendly way. So I decided that this was something that I wanted to learn more about and that I wanted to make my own cricket farm and raise and eat my own crickets. All right, my crickets just showed up in the mail. There's 500 crickets in this little box. It shows up in the mail. Got a live animals label on it. Right now, they're just kind of hanging out, hopping around in there. They don't really look very appetizing right now. Not really something that I want to eat. We're gonna fill the bottom with some paper here. It just gives them something. Jump around in. Probably pooping. And this is a piece of sponge. If you put the crickets in with just a water dish, apparently they'll drown. So everyone on the internet seems to agree that there's one thing that crickets love, it's sweet potato. Cricket. So you're probably wondering why someone would want to eat insects. The problem we have is that the human population will continue to increase. We're at 7.5 billion right now. Projection is 10 billion by the middle of this century. And there's some unpredictability in the models, but it may go even higher in the next century. We, get, we, we may reach 11 billion, 12 billion, which means that there's a high demand for food. Well, the, the, the biggest point is that insects convert food more efficiently than cattle, animals. So if, if you look at the amount of, of food that you need produce a pound of meat. Uh, for beef, it would be about 20, 25 pounds of grains to produce a pound of meat. For pork, it would be about 9, 10. For uh, chicken, it would be about 3. For farm fish like tilapia, you're pretty efficient also. Tilapia, salmon, any farm fish, you're in the 3, three 4 also. And sex, you're in the range of two to three. So in terms of producing proteins, producing meat, insects are very efficient. People eat insects a lot uh, in other places. Eating insects is common around the world. Yes, it's common. It's done in many, many countries. And hundreds of species of insects are eaten. I'm sure the insects don't like it, but the people do. Okay, so unfortunately all of my crickets are now dead. But the plus side is, is that I'm pretty sure that it wasn't me that killed them. I think that they actually died of old age uh, because Apparently, I've been looking it up, and I didn't realize this beforehand, but crickets only live 8 or 10 weeks, and I ordered crickets that were 5 weeks old, so I'm pretty sure that they just kind of died of natural causes now. At first, I thought it was disease, and I was separating them out into different containers to try to get them away from the, the old cricket carcasses, because they were eating the, the dead crickets, but now I'm pretty sure that they just died of their own accord. So I'm going to order more crickets and I'm ordering them at three weeks old now and I'm going to give it another shot using basically the same setup and hopefully this time things go better. Round two. This is my second batch of crickets. 
as you can see it's much smaller I thought one of the main problems with this would be that the meat production industry wouldn't really like the idea so I decided to go talk to someone who raises meat we raise Angus and I run a few longhorns here on the top of the mountains because of the mountain lions so they're they're a lot more hardy they, they can fight the lions off Do you think that people would ever raise insects in the United States for protein, or for just food sources, basically? Well, you know, that's the, the way our nation is. You know, we're capitalistic. That's anything that's going to pay anybody any kind of money at all. They're, you know, that's my wife and I have already discussed it. We would. We wouldn't have a problem. I was really expecting Rusty to tell me that it was a weird, crazy idea to just try to eat crickets, but I thought it was pretty cool that he kind of just said that he would be okay with the idea of eating them. Alright, so the time has come to kill off my crickets, and I'm going to do that by sticking them in the freezer, and apparently that's the best way to do it. And I gotta say, it feels, it feels a bit weird to be killing them off after trying to keep them alive for all of these months. I feel a little bit bad about it, but at the same time, I don't feel that bad about it because they're just crickets. It's not like I have to kill a chicken or a cow or something to get the meat from it. So I'm just going to pop them in the freezer for a couple of hours and let that take its course. The next thing that I'm going to have to do is take all of the crickets that I have and put them into this pot of water and the water, I'm going to boil the water and that just kind of kills off any bacteria that might still be in the crickets bodies or on the crickets themselves. So this is my little bowl of roasted crickets that I baked in the oven last night and they they smell pretty good they smell kind of like walnuts or something and they're actually I put some salt on them uh, tasty to eat right now I, they taste good they're pretty crunchy it's like a little chip or something They're a little worse if you look at them. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't yeah. look at them. <laughs> it's good. It's, uh, I would snack on it on, a, on the airline. <laughs> They actually are. They actually are pretty tasty. They really are pretty good. Yeah.